Hi everyone, it's Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and I realized it's the middle of September and I haven't put together a completed pages for August. Well, it won't take long. There's only three books. There's seven pages total. So let's get started. Might as well show what I got, right? Uh, so Michelle and I from Kits and Coodles are working on this. Um... I just realized it looks like something has faded all over this and I don't know what, unless that's the way the cover is. Hmm. That's really weird. Anyway, sorry, I, I digress. Um, so she and I are working on finishing this book. I do have pictures that she colored before we started doing this, so I still have some blank pictures that I need to color. We only have like two or three left, maybe four. One, one, two, three, four, it looks like. Uh, so this month we did this one. There's a cute little dragon in a library. So I'll put a picture of Michelle's next to mine here so that you can see what she did. It's very cute. Uh, I just used marker and pastel pencil to do some shading. I made some mistakes, but we won't point those out, right? <laughs> So I'm, um, you know, I didn't ask her if we are doing another page in this this month. We only have four left, it looks like, I think. Four? One? No? No, yeah, four. Looks like we got four. That one. That one. This guy. And that guy. So I guess we'll see. Not many left. Well, I have more than she does. Uh, this is Edwina McNamee's um, Unicorn Coloring Book. Uh, I had a buddy color in this with Linda Learns to Color. And she, and I'll put a picture of hers um, next to here so you can see what hers looked like. So uh, she and I both did sort of the same thing without even telling each other. Um, I prepared my page with satin glazing liquid. It was an experiment. I intended to use pencils entirely but I kind of got August was really busy and um, I really wanted to get this done because um, I was excited to do it and work in this book and so um, I got gold paint I was doing something with gold paint and I splattered it all over everything and I don't think I realized I had this book open but that's okay it doesn't detract from it too much but anyway there's some sparkle and what I did was I ended up instead of just using pencil I used watercolor marker and then I put pencil on top and um, I wasn't really happy with how my pencil turned out in some spaces so meh. but overall I'm happy with it it's a pretty picture so you know we live and we learn and it's not terrible and I will move on from there so thanks Linda for doing this with me if you want to do another one in something else or this one let me know um so this is the project book i'm working on with um kathy from spicy cat colors so this month oops we did five i already have this month done which is like unheard of let me tell you so let's see, I need August. All right, so here is August. Um, so August, uh, she had a uh, chrysalis. Yes. Mm, yes, chrysalis. I, my little notepad is, is all markered up. Um, she had a chrysalis, which is a caterpillar, and I will put or a, a cocoon for caterpillar, butterfly. I will put the picture, the inspiration picture here. Um, I love how mine turned out. Um, it was beautiful. I love how the green and the yellow, um, and I will put a picture of Kathy's and how hers came out. They were both just spectacular um, images and perfect for this mandala. So that was one. Uh, then the monarch so there's a monarch um, inspiration palette which I will put a picture of here and I used that 
as my inspiration to color it. I even ended up putting a little butterfly in here and I will put Kathy's completed um, picture next to mine so you can see that. Came out really well. And then this one we used the iPanda Colors palette Sedona Sunset on this one which I will put a picture of so you can see that. Um, and then I will stick a picture of Kathy's mandala here so you can see what hers looked like. It came out really pretty. Like I usually like hers better than mine. <laughs> Although this one is bright. I really was happy with this. Uh, then caterpillar picture. So she sent me, there was a picture of a caterpillar and that was the inspiration. And um, I will put a picture of it here so you can see what it looked like. I think my marker was a little greener than I intended. I used a yellowy green because the picture is kind of yellowy. But um, I put like gems on here. Can you see all my gems that I glued on there? Um, it was just sparkle palooza with this one. I just really wanted it to pop out. Um, and I will put a picture of Kathy's finished mandala here so you can see what hers looked like. It was really fun to do this. I was just having fun with the glitter and the sparkles and the gems. These are just Dollar Tree gem stickers that I stuck on here. And then last but not least, um, there was a palette inspiration that uh, Kathy sent because this was, I guess I forgot to mention this was her month to pick the inspirations for the five mandalas we were doing. So, um, she sent over a palette, which I will put in the corner so you can see what it looked like. Very bright and pretty. And then I will put a picture of her finished mandala so you can see what it looked like. And it just, I love these colors. These colors are gorgeous. But anyway, so that is all the pictures I completed in August. Better than nothing, let me tell you. I was really worried how busy I was. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I know this was a quick one. There are already more pages for September. I already have my five mandalas done. I've got my Yoda. I'm catching up on my um, Grogu pictures. I've got almost all my buddy colors done. So I am cooking along and I am happy about that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.